Bad news. I failed the challenge. If you guys have been following me on Instagram for the past few weeks, you know that I started what's called the 75 hard challenge, which is something created by a guy named Andy Frisilla. So he started the 75 day challenge for, it's, it's really a mental challenge um, to get you mentally focused, mentally prepared, um, just become better, sharper. And the whole, the whole crux of it is to just stop making excuses for your life follow five simple rules and become a better person. Now, like I said, there are a few simple rules and they, they are simple. Um, however, they are very, very far from easy. Just kind of like the street parking mantra, the workouts are simple. They're simple on paper, but they are not easy whatsoever. Um, and to kind of break down, break down those rules, like I said, there are five of them. First one is simply follow a diet. That's it. He's not telling you what diet to follow. He's not telling you to go keto, to try paleo. Uh, if it fits your macros, count calories, 800 gram challenge, whatever, whatever diet of the week there is out there, he's not telling you to follow that one. He's telling you follow a diet, whatever works best for you. Um, and just stick to it, stick to it for 75 days, 75 days. Most people, and myself included, were, are guilty of picking a diet. Hey, arrow. We're guilty of following a diet for just a couple of weeks, hoping that there's results, and if there's not, we move on to the next one. Rule number two, drink a gallon of water. That's it, drink a gallon of water. It doesn't matter how, what your body weight is, how much water you think is appropriate, drink a gallon. Rule number three, Read 10 pages. Now, this one I have seen as a, as a bit of a mixed bag because when I first got the rules, it said just read 10 pages, nonfiction, and it cannot be an audiobook. Do you want me to throw that ball? The other pages or the other challenge pictures I've seen out there, it has to be 10 pages of a nonfiction self help book. Um, See, I'm of the opinion that the majority of nonfiction books are gonna fall under some sort of self-help category, uh, whether whether it's titled that or not. You don't have to be reading a business book, but nonfiction, even if you're reading for history purposes, knowledge is self-help. So I, I'm just reading nonfiction. Um, that, that's been my goal. Rule number four, and this kind of goes back to the first one, I should have mentioned it, but it is a separate rule, no alcohol. Plain and simple, no alcohol. And rule number five, you have to do two workouts a day. One of them has to be outside and they both have to be 45 minutes in length. So basically 90 minutes of exercise, make sure 45 minutes is outside and you're, you're good. So that's it, those are the rules. In, in these rules, it doesn't say you have to do CrossFit, you have to do powerlifting, you have to, you have to do a certain kind of workout. You just, you have to work out 45 minutes, at least 20, 90 minutes of exercise a day. 45 minutes has to be outside. No questions asked. Those are the rules. And that's what I've been doing, but I failed. You see, the part that kind of gets to me is that this challenge honestly started out pretty simple. Day one of the 75 hard is officially done. As soon as I finish one more of these. That first day, it, I knew it was gonna be tough. Buddy, you gotta go, you gotta go. No, no pal. That first day, I knew it was gonna be tough. Uh, that first few workouts were exhausting, um, but I was ready. I was ready to take on the challenge. And then the more that I got into it, the more that I got into it, the, the easier it became, the more routine it was. I think they say it takes like three weeks to start. <sighs> three weeks to start building a habit and I had made it that far. I had made it past that. Day 25 of my 75 hard challenge is done. I feel good. Um, third of the way through this challenge and uh, it's, it's starting to become a little bit more routine. Uh, honestly, I failed after day 25. My 26th day was a failure. I made it exactly a third of the way through successfully before failing. And day 25 was great. It was a great day. I had fun. It was a good workout. Um, but day 26 was rough. So what happened on day 26 that caused me to fail? Um, honestly, it wasn't the working out because I got, I, 
on a lot of days if we're traveling or if we're just out of town, we do a lot of walking around. So I'll set my watch and I'll make sure that I hit 90 minutes of walking outside. So I did that. That wasn't a problem. Um, I stayed under calories. Uh, I did end up taking a progress photo. It was at 930 at night, but I took a progress photo. Nonetheless, what got me was somehow I didn't finish my water, which blows me away because that was honestly the easiest part of this entire challenge. I didn't hit my water goal. I did not completely stick to my diet and I didn't read. So I failed because this is a no excuses challenge. So real quick, what I was doing for my diet portion and what I'm gonna continue on doing um, is I have a calorie goal. Basically I'm following uh, Jordan Syatt, who if you don't know him, he was uh, the personal trainer for Gary V for three years. If you don't know who Gary V is, I don't know, have you not been on Instagram? The dude's everywhere. Uh, but he was his personal trainer for three years. Now he's kind of doing his own thing. Seems like a really great guy. Um, I had been following him. I had been following EC at Optimize Me Nutrition. Um, I've been following uh, Flexible Dieting Lifestyle, trying to figure out what would work best for me as far as how to improve my overall health because you know the weight I gained last year has been exponentially more difficult to fall off than it was to put on. Kind of pretty natural. So I had been following a lot of different people and they're all, they were all kind of saying the same thing as far as how many calories I should be eating. Um, a lot of places had a lot more difficult math problems to get to the same solution, but everyone was kind of saying the same thing. And it was to find a calorie goal and eat a certain amount of protein. The fat and carbs for me, I've tried high fat, I've tried high carb, uh, Neither of them really seemed to make much of a difference in my day to day. So I wasn't, I didn't want to dwell on that. I didn't want to uh, focus too much on macros. I wanted to ease into it and do something a little bit more sustainable. So my diet was a 2,500 calorie goal. Now I got that by taking my goal body weight, which is 200 pounds and multiplying it by 12. Well, that's 2,400, I wanted to see, and 2,500 is like a 208 body weight. So I, I was okay with 2,500 to keep it kind of a nice, even round number. Now, for my own personal benefit, because there's gonna be a lot of times things are out of your control, you try and eat as best you can, but things will end up spilling over. Um, I'm giving myself a range. I wanna stay between 24 and 2,600 calories because that's, that's really a more realistic goal for me. Um, that puts me at a goal body weight of between 200 and 216 pounds, which honestly, the lightest I ever got in high school was about 215 pounds. So that's, that's a reasonable goal for me. In addition to the no alcohol, I also added no ice cream to the mix because personally, ice cream is my number one weakness. Um, when I gained my 300 pounds, sitting at home, cracking a beer and eating a giant bowl of ice cream. Most of the time it was a whole pint of ice cream during the week was an, a natural thing for me to do. I love ice cream and I can't say no and I can't stop and I can't order a small. I, I always order a medium at the minimum. It's usually a large and it's a lot. I'm not one to add fruit to it. I add all the candy that you can possibly add to like Rocky Road ice cream. As far as workouts are concerned, I mean, obviously I'm doing street parking. So I've been just doing a 45 minute split. It usually consists of uh, a street parking workout, a strength piece, and then I'll finish it off with a cardio accessory. And then for my second 45 minute workout, I always go for a walk outside. Um, it's just nice. I walk for 45 minutes. I, that might get split up depending on my work schedule. So I might do 20, 25 minutes, but it always totals 45 and it's always an outdoor walk. So that's been fine. As far as my book is concerned, that was a little bit upsetting too, because I finally finished my first book. Um, and it was this one right here. It was the story of the Charleston Nine, which if you're a firefighter, you probably know that story. To sum it all up, it was basically a massive warehouse fire that killed nine firefighters. It was the most lethal fire since 9-11. Um, and this was a study to examine that and talk about it and figure out what has changed since then and kind of build a framework for any future departments that may have a similar situation should it arise. 
Um, it was a difficult, difficult read because it wasn't just a story. It wasn't just how they learned. It was an actual study. So it was a, it was reading a research paper is what it was. Um, in it, it was difficult. It was not simple to get through. Um, but I did, I got through it on day 25 and I was very proud of that. And like I said before, drinking a gallon of water was a piece of cake, but I still failed. I can't make excuses. I have to start over. And honestly, yesterday I didn't make my goal either. Um, I forgot to read. I forgot to read a book. 10 pages is all I needed to do. I forgot to do it. So today, Labor Day, <laughs> I'm starting over again. Um, I, I'm not even counting yesterday as day one. It's going to be just a lapse. Labor Day 2020 is going to be start of day one, attempt two at the 75 hard challenge. Hopefully this one goes well, but I want to post this video up to just accountability for myself first and foremost, but also just to my mindset's different. Like I, I'm upset that I failed, but I'm more excited to get going and attempt this again because I was seeing some great results. It was a really great routine. I was really happy with what I was doing personally. And I'm going to put some pictures up. So right here was day one. Check it out. That's, that was me day one, four weeks, four weeks ago, Cody. Now today, Big difference between the two. Day, four weeks after this one, I, I'm blown away. The progress I've made is super exciting. It's super motivating. I always say that progress is what leads to your motivation and the drive to keep going. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep going. I really enjoy this challenge. I wanna make it 75 days. There's a challenge coin that you can purchase after completing it. I want that. <laughs> So I'm going to start over 75 days starting today. Attempt to wish me luck. If you've ever done 75 hard, comment below. Let me know how great it was. If you enjoyed it, would you do it again? Have you done it again? Because it seems like most people, once they do it once, they do it a lot. So it's, I feel like it's a, like a 5k or something like that. You just got to get over that first one. So let me know in the comments below if you've ever done it before. Um, if you want to wish me luck, just hit that thumb up button on the video. That's going to help me out quite a bit. Uh, and if you want to see if I succeed this time, I probably won't do update videos, but I'll do some, I'll do like a summation if I either fail like this or if I complete the next one. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on that and see if I can improve on what I look like today. I think it's going to be a lot less of an improvement from the first four weeks that I showed but it should still be improvement nonetheless. So if you want to see that, make sure you're hitting subscribe so you don't miss out. And until next time, you guys, remember, we are all in progress. And I hope you guys are having a great Labor Day, but I got to get a workout in. So have a good one.